Uh, we've reached that stage of the season, Jay, where everything to play for. You don't know exactly where you are going to finish. You're in a good position. You could be in a great position in two games' time, but but still, nothing is, is secure just yet. No, listen, it's it's wide open still. Uh, I think everybody knows that. Um, and especially us, we know that we've got two huge opportunities to give ourselves a fantastic chance of jumping into that top three or where we want where we want to be come the end of the season. And there's a lot of a lot of football to be played still. Uh, a lot of minutes for, for football matches to change and results to change. So all we can do is concentrate on ourselves and that's going to a difficult game away at Forest Green. Um, we know it's not going to be easy, but we're going there full of confidence and we, we know what we know what we need to do to to give ourselves the best chance of what we want come the end of the season. Key word that you use there, confidence. It, it, it's maybe been a little bit in short supply recently because you found the wins hard to come by. But second half last week, much more creative uh, chances uh, and opportunities. And, uh, and and that victory can make all the difference now. Yeah, they can do. Listen, even in them... Even in them games of draw, uh, a lot of draws, they were we were winning, winning games at that point. So the confidence in the lads was always there. I think the confidence in the group has always been there. Um, it's not been taken away from us. Um, we still believe in ourselves. We still believe in our in our squad and our staff who are, who are supporting us, and we still believe in our club. And we've backed each other. We've pulled ourselves through it. Yeah, we had a bit of a sticky patch, but look where we are. We're still sat in a very promising position. Um, and like you say, then last two wins, with anything, wins gives everybody that little bit of belief and confidence. And to get back-to-back -back wins in such an important week and an important stage of the season, um, it's given us a little bit of lift, but we're not going to get carried away. Um, we've got two very, very big games come, come, come Saturday, Saturday, and we're going to give everything we can to, give, to, to be on the right end of the good results. And Forest Green, they've just dipped out of the, the automatic playoff positions. Uh, still within touching distance. Uh, they've changed their manager. Alan Ball's son uh, is now in charge, Jimmy Ball. And when a new manager comes in, you often get this this sort of bouncing results, don't you? So you, you, something you've got to be aware of. Yeah, listen, you have to. And like you say, they're not a bad, they're not a bad team. They're a good team. They're, I think I think I read the other day it's the first time that they dropped out of the playoffs since probably early, well, late, late last year. So they're a good team. They're, they're, they're up there for a reason. Um, it's not going to be easy. It's going to be difficult. Every away game is difficult. But we know that if we go there and we put pressure on them and we play the way that we want to play, especially like we did in the second half on the weekend, that will cause some problems. And listen, we, we've we got... We just want to give everything we've got. I've said to the lads on numerous occasions before the start of games that... Don't look back in the summer regrets, leaving chances that we've got to, 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 to nothing and look back and think, oh, why didn't I do this? Why didn't I do that? Leave absolutely everything you've got on the field and give everything you've got to, to get the results and, and to take this club back where it belongs. How have the lads responded when you've, you've given them those sort of messages as an experienced player who's played at the highest level of the game? Listen, these boys are fantastic and I've had an absolutely fantastic season with the boys. Um, we've had our ups and downs. Like you say, the start of the season, we never started off as quick as we wanted to. But we've pulled ourselves back around. Uh, I've always believed in them. I've always backed them. Uh, I'll back them till the end. And as you say, being an experienced boy, we've got a lot of experienced heads in here. But we've, we need to take that experience onto the field, show our support and keep them calm in the important games and keep them calm in these big occasions and this big time of the season. Um, but like I said, I've always... They've always took it on board, they've always listened and they've always been a fantastic group to work with and long may that continue. And I know using critic, cricketing parlance, you're in the nervous 90s, but as a footballer, it's a great place to be. It shows that you've been successful. It shows what a good team you are. It shows how good the individuals in that team are. It's to be celebrated. You know, look at us. Here we are. Yeah, listen, it's, it's more than anything. You've got to go and enjoy it and just enjoy have been, having the pressure on us because we've worked hard. Like The biggest thing for me is letting them know that they've grafted their absolute every single day, day in, day out, every game opportunity. We've gra grafted our, sorry for the thing, grafted our nuts off to be where we are. Um, no, we, no one's given it to us. We've had to work extra hard to get it. Uh, and they've got to enjoy feel, enjoy feeling that pressure and enjoy these moments because, like I said to them, when you look back on your career, you want to look back and look back on it fondly and not think to yourself, oh, I wish I did this, I wish I did that. If you can walk off at the field at the end of 19 minutes and think, I'll give everything that I've got, uh, everything that I've done, and be happy with yourself, then great. That's, that's what you want to look back on and think, oh, no regrets. And if you ally that 
to the ability in the squad and the pride in wearing the Tranmere shirt. The three great factors to come together, aren't they? Yeah, they're unbelievable. And listen, for me, it's been an absolute honour and a pleasure to, to play for this football club. And I haven't come here to do nothing. I haven't come here to sit around and, and not compete and get this club back where it's belonged. Um, it was a fantastic opportunity, opportunity for myself and this set of lads to, to prove to people that we belong higher. Um, like you said before, the quality of the squad, uh, it was there for everybody to see, the players, the individuals. But listen, it's not been about individuals this season. It's been a squad game. Everyone's come in and played their role. And we've all wore the shirt with pride and we, we want to show the supporters exactly what that we're fighting for this club and we're fighting for them because obviously they can't be in the, in, in the ground at the minute. But we're fighting for them to get them back where they belong and give them a little bit of lift with everything that's been going on.